Hey, how's it going everybody? It's me, Scott Dog. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're back. Playing a new game. This game is insurmountable. It's been out for a little while. I haven't played it yet. Uh, I saw it when it first came out. It's kind of a, a roguelike uh, mountain climbing game. Um, I guess is the best way to describe it. It's uh, it's an interesting one. It's kind of a, the, the mountain is tile based. Uh, and you'll see items where you can go, you'll have certain amounts of energy and those sorts of things. And you've got to try and make your way up the mountain, I guess. I don't know if there's any more story than that. But you can see the, the tile-based mountain. Uh, obviously a long way off there. We're down here in the in the, the canyon-esque area. Long way to go. Never played before, so we'll figure it out. In order to successfully complete a mountain, you have to navigate your character along the tiles to the marked goal. Time will not pass uh, and your stats will not change until your character moves. Left click a valid tile to add a checkpoint uh, to which the character should move. You can add more checkpoints by clicking on the on other valid tiles. Click the final checkpoint again to start moving. Right click to stop the character or to remain, sorry, or to remove the final checkpoint. Alternatively, you can press the mouse button to move or stop your character. You can also use the speed button to make your character walk faster. This effect does not impact your stats in game. Okay. You can open the tutorial menu at any time via the pause menu. Uh, you cast your gaze over the enormous mountain landscape. You travel across the globe seeking out adventure, but this island is like nothing you have seen before. As far as you can tell, it's largely unexplored. The only information you can find were a few rumors about unknown occupying force. What? On the way here, you stumbled across an abandoned property and lost places. Uh, you wonder what happened here, what secrets the island is keeping. Then you shake your head. It might be nice to have some answers, but your goal is clear. Reach the summit. That's what you're here to do. That's what drives you. That's exactly is what drives me. So here we are. This is us. We, uh, we look pretty cool. We look pretty cool. Uh, we look pretty warm, actually, in our little outfit. Um, can we move this? We can't can't scroll anywhere with the, you know, can't move the camera from the looks of things. Um, effects that are influenced by your current, by the current mountain environment and current activities. So we've got thick air. Okay. Zero plus 0 0.5 oxygen per hour while moving. Warm nights. That's good news. First descent. Uh, you're focused and driven, plus 0 0.5 sanity. The weather is clear and basic values. Okay. And we've got these little things. I don't know what these are, but we can kind of start heading in these directions. So here we are, we're moving. I don't know how far you can move. I don't know if it's sort of turned based as such. Um, you know, I guess these are the things that we're really that interested in. Camera control, I hold the V key. Uh, and move the mouse to look around. Move the mouse while holding the middle mouse button to rotate the camera. Zoom in or out. Okay, so does V allow us to... Oh, okay. This is interesting. So we can have a look at the whole mountain. Nice. Um, I think we want to move here, right? There's something happening here. So let's let's go here. We're moving. Uh, time is going. And we're at 4128 meters. Gust of winds catches you and you almost fall into a deep fissure. Uh, you flail wildly, wildly you're with your arms, trying to keep your balance. Suddenly, someone grasps your, grabs your wrist and pulls you back from the edge. That was close. Just a second later and you have fallen to your death. We've literally moved seven yards. You sternly tell yourself that you really have to pay more attention. No need to pass, press your luck. And there is danger at every turn. Your knee's still weak. You take a look at your rescue. She was a young woman in a Fredbear anorak. There's a green stone fastened around her neck with a leather strap. Fascinated, you stare at the hand-carved charm. Soft glow is almost hypnotizing. The stranger coughs and without saying a word, holds out some provisions for you to take. I accept the gift. You want to give her something in return, so you search for your pack and you finally something, sorry, you finally find something uh, and look up, but the strange woman is gone. Bizarre meeting, but you can't help but be grateful you met her. We've got some oxygen, okay. Uh, so we can put this over here. So we've got a little backpack that we need to that we need to, to keep stocked. You can access your inventory by pressing the button on the screen or using the corresponding hotkey. You can only access your inventory when your character is standing still. 
Certain items are consumed when they are used and others can be equipped to your character and remain active when, when equipped. Right click an item with the mouse to use them. Hold, uh, click and hold the left mouse button to drag the item and drop it into other slots. Slots. <laughs> when you find an item, you have to put it in your inventory or you lose it when you close your inventory. Some items can be used multiple times as indicating the usage bar. Uh, you can view more information about the item. Okay, we hear you. So we've got this can of oxygen. We've got a climbing hook. Can we put this somewhere? No. I guess that's just a standard thing. We've got a tent. We've got three uses left, three uses left. We've got some hot tea. That's nice and some can nice and some canned food. Okay, so we came over here and now I don't know where to go. We could go back that way. There's something over here. I don't know what this is. It looks like a cave of some kind. Um, what else? We've got things over this way. But that would mean going back. I guess we need to... Do we... Do we... Do we start moving in these directions? I mean, like, there's a... There's a treasure over here, right? Let's get moving this way. I know he's out of the way. I don't know how badly that's going to affect us. Um... I mean, we look like we're doing all right for stats, right? Uh, we've still got quite a long while left of the day. And this looks like some kind of treasure, so we definitely want to go here, right? At the foot of the slope, you stumble across the remains of a building. Did it belong to the occupying forces? Parts of it are completely buried under rock. There must have been a landslide. Between the rubble, you can see a few electronic devices and small metal containers. You could go down there and search for provisions. Search through the rubble takes one hour 26 minutes you walk carefully across the rubble keeping an eye out for anything useful you spot a hollow underneath a boulder something that there glints light falls across it you carefully reach your hand into the gap and try to grab it you brush your fingertips once twice got it you feel like jumping for joy you've recovered a valuable piece of equipment some gloves nice can we put these on there we go we got some gloves nice uh, gloves. It's going to keep us a little bit warmer. Nice. Okay. So how do we get up this mountain? I mean, this feels like the appropriate direction, right? This would take us towards a thing, but I don't know how we... I mean, there's two things up here. So can we... Can we just walk this way? I do quite like this. This is quite a nice... I mean, it feels fairly chill. We can speed it up, obviously. Um, but it feels like... Uh, it feels fairly chill. We've got a little cave or something down here. Maybe we should have gone that way. Uh, we're going to take a little while to walk there. Uh, our sanity is dropping because of the climb. So this climb is going to take out of us, right? But I don't mind that entirely because we're going to get a chest and something else up here. I don't know what this is. But I also like the idea that we're climbing in a climbing game. Here we go. Up we go. So our sanity should be dropping. Um, our energy is also dropping. Because we're, we're climbing a more steep approach. Here we go. We've got more climbing to do. So more sanity is going to drop. And more energy. But we're going to get some treasure potentially. So or we might die. Obviously two options there. Okay. What have we got? You're trudging across the snow covered plain when your boot catches on something. Stretching lengthwise across the ground, you are stunned to, dis stunned to discover a thick black cable. Why is it here and where does it lead? Follow the cable. I pull on the cable. Continue my journey. It's going to take three hours. Uh, I pull on the cable. Boom. If you're resistance, you tug again as hard as you can. You did it. The cables come loose and you finally uh, pull it until a full bag of provision lands on your hands. You have no idea who tied it to the end of this cable or why. Uh, but you'll take what you can get. Okay, so we get some more food. Nice. Let's move this down here and we'll put this up here. Perfect. Can we rotate these? I feel like we should be able to rotate these. Level up. Okay, we can level up here. Uh, whenever you reach a point of interest, gain sanity. That might not be the worst shout. Our sanity is dropping. Reduce time when moving. Time cost when moving. Whenever you use a consumable item, you get some body temperature. I don't know how, you know, how important that is. I'm going to go with this. Whenever you reach a location, you get some sanity because we're going to this location over here. Oh my God, it's a long way round. Where do we find somewhere to sleep? How do we 
how do we tent up? Opens the sleep stream. Well, I think we have to walk this way, right? So let's do that. I'm a little bit annoyed that we can't jump down here. Well, not jump, you know what I mean. Um, I don't know if we've made much progress. And actually, if you look here, how the heck do we get across? Now, we've come this way, but we're going to have to come all the way back around down here again. And then back around this way, I think. Or we could go this way. Interesting. What we got going on? Um, mindfulness. Nightfall is here. Okay. Well, let's see what we're about to find out. A jiggling, sorry, jingling feels there, not jiggling, uh, around you. Harmonious and melodious, 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 uh, followed by the sound of falling rain. You follow the sound to discover tubes of metal and wood tied together in a bare treetop, dancing and striking each other in the wind. You watch as the wind chimes and lose yourself in the fleeting melodies. You regain sanity or health. Well, I don't think we've lost any health, right? So let's do sanity. Okay, can we now sleep? We're going to sleep in the tent. Sleep briefly, sleep long. I think 10 hours will take us to 7 o'clock. I think sleep long, right? We'll get our energy back. We'll, uh... Oh, it's still night time. That's a bit disappointing. Um... Minus five percent body temperature. The weather is clear, so we've we've got a choice to make. I don't know what decision we should choose. It's very difficult to see the right way to go here. There's a cave over that way, so I guess we should go over here. Again, that's going to take us backwards, but oops, what's this? What does this mean? Uh, sleeping is a good way to restore energy. There are three ways you can do this. And look for a cave symbol on the map and make camp there. Okay, you can use a tent from your inventory. Each tent can be used up to three times. I feel like I just used a tent. Did we not sleep? My, my tent is... Oh no, I'm going to not use a tent. We're going to get one energy back. That doesn't feel... See, we've got energy. What are you worried about? Okay, let's let's move over here for a bit. And we'll see how this goes. We're moving at night, so we're losing temperature. Uh, energy is decreasing. Because we're, we're moving and climbing. Um, we are heading towards another ca uh, cave. But, oh yeah, I'm a little bit worried that... This is, I feel like we've been forced down a... Down, well, no, we haven't been forced. We went down a route that wasn't particularly wise because of because of that. But, okay, we're we're travelling. We'll just, we'll just keep travelling at this rate and see what we find. We're using energy again. Something's going to happen when we get here. Weather. The weather can change every morning. You can see the current weather and the forecast for the next day in the lower left screen. There are three different types. Snow and snow. Great. Clear weather... Cold weather has a negative impact on body temperature. At night, try equipping some warm clothes. Stormy weather, okay, has an impact on your energy. Okay, we hear you. Uh, can we eat? How much food does it use? It covers 30 energy. Okay, well, let's keep walking this way. We've got a lot of climbing to do, so we know this is going to take the energy out of us anyway. Sanity is not bad. Body temperature isn't bad. Health isn't bad. I feel like we're very early on in our journey. Um, and look at those icy ones up there. They look like trouble, don't they? Okay. So there's a cave just up here. I don't, we, we don't really need a cave right now, considering it's daytime. But can we go somewhere after this? It looks like there's... I don't know if there is a way up. I think we're going to have to go right here. And up there, maybe? 
We could go, maybe we can go left here. Maybe that's all right. Towards that treasure. Okay, we're almost at the cave. Is there a way around this? I don't know. Maybe, maybe we can get there. You enter the cave, it's dry and sheltered from the wind. However, you notice a strong smell. Follow the smell. You follow the smell and hear a growl. Fear wells up inside you. Before you can react, something bites your leg. Cursing and in pain, you flee. Oh no. What bit my leg? That's the real question here, right? Can we get over here? What does this mean? Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We need some energy, right? Okay. This item would have no effect at the moment. We haven't got a lot of food left. Uh, let's go over here. Okay, so we, we're climbing again. Um, and then I don't know where we go from here either. I have to say, this is this is a little tricky. I guess we can get up there, whatever that thing is. There's a cave there as well. Are we climbing? Why aren't we moving? There we go. We're losing, using a lot of energy to get to this. And we've used our tent already once and it didn't really help us, I don't think. I like this. This is quite nice. Don't think we're going to get to the mountain, the top of the mountain this time, but... We are going to get to this little treasure chest. Who knows what it could be. Okay, you climb up onto a crooked rickety deer stand built by hunters to survey the terrain and shelter from the elements. A pile of soft fur on the floor is awfully inviting. You consider taking a rest. A gutted deer hangs from the ceiling. The meat is fresh and juicy. Your mouth starts to water. Eat some of the meat. I stop to rest. Continue the journey. I take some of the meat and leave a gift. What could we leave? Uh, I eat some of the meat. Uh-oh. If no one comes to collect the meat, it will spoil and then the deer will have died for nothing. You can't allow that. And besides, you could really use a meal. You feel the life return to your body with every bite. You are ready to start climbing. Nice, we got some energy for it. We got a level up. Uh, reduced energy cost when moving and climbing. Sounds like that could be really important. Warm thoughts. Our body temperature seems to be okay, but it's only going to get worse, right? Um controlled breathing i think we go with the energy because we're using a lot of it and we're going to use even more because i think we want to head up here can we head up this way so let's get over here first don't know why this is like this Guess we're about to find out. Terrain types. There are three different types of terrain. Rock, snow and ice. Each type consists of basic standard terrain and additional terrain subtypes. Cost of moving on any terrain types depends on your character's equipment skill. Terrain types can involve additional costs uh, and may trigger dangerous events. Rock, standard terrain, no special properties. Rubble, subterrain can trigger ev dangerous events. Grass, no special properties. Snow, standard terrain. Snow drifts, uh, the blue ones, can trigger trains that dangerous events. A deep snow requires higher energy costs. Glacier. Ice labyrinth. Train site requires higher body temp and costs. Okay. Uh, we want to go up here, right? We know that this is dangerous terrain. Up we go. I don't know what this is, so we're going to go up here. Is there a cave nearby? Over there. Can we get to that cave, do you reckon? We're doing our climbing. We're doing a good job of the climbing. We can go here, then here. Then we can try and get over to this cave and take a rest. Hopefully there's nothing in there that wants to eat us. Okay. Northern Lights. What a sight. Okay. We gain some XP and some sanity. Nice. Let's get back down here. Do not die on the way down, please. You approach a canyon. You notice a rope has been stretched across it. Who could have done that? Can you risk using it? I shimmy along the rope. 
to cross this canyon, okay, I turn around and take a detour. Let's shimmy. You wrap your legs around the rope and pull yourself across the canyon. Inch by inch, the roach fibers over the rope cut into your palms, but you ignore the pain. You're almost on the other side. The rope suddenly goes slack. You swing forward and slam into the rock face with an almighty smack. With trembling hands, you'll pull yourself up the rope to the edge of the cliff. You survive, but your torso is peppered with bruises. Oh, man. Minus two oxygen while moving. That's not ideal, is it? Okay, well, we, we made it across the canyon, at least. Um, nearby, an abandoned camp, there is a torn tent. You could take the time to search the, in the tent. Time, five hours? Is that really going to take me five hours? Take a quick look around. Unfortunately, you find nothing useful. Well, that's bad news. Okay, we want to come over here, right? Good luck, buddy. Don't die. Don't die in the climb down. Look at us. We're almost there. <laughs> we might die. We've got, we're running out of food pretty quickly. What is that? You enter a cave. Just after a few steps, you feel an icy wind on your face. It seems to be coming from the other side of the cave. Lie down and sleep. I follow the wind. I leave the cave. Let's lie down and sleep. We're going to sleep long. It's going to take us almost to the start of a new day. We're going to get some energy. We're going to get some body temp. Let's do it. Who knows where the wind was coming from? I bet there was a nice hotel down there. Okay. So what way are we going? Want to go up that way? I guess we go up this way, right? Oh, God. Oh, God, it looks fraught with danger. Is this any better? Not really. I think we're going to encounter danger either way we go. Off we go. The sun should be coming up fairly soon, so that will make it slightly easier. Still going to be snowy. Um, energy is dwindling. Uh, it would be nice if this told you what terrain it was as you as you hovered over it because i can't remember exactly what it said um you know it would be nice if it said this was glacier this was you know i i don't know if there's a way of seeing that yeah well additionally could we not just go this way yeah i don't know hold on is this any better i don't know okay well let's let's try this Got a couple of things over here. We don't have a huge amount of food. Now if we go this way, this is going to be a dead end, I think. But it might not be the worst shout. You know, anything we can get that looks like uh, it will keep us warm or help us climb, I think is important. And we've got another cave that we can inspect as well. Another chest up here, but we're going to have to go all the way around, right? And we are getting into proper climbing territory. Okay. You hear a couple of loose stones rolling down the mountain. One of them hits your torso. Oh, come on. Smacked by a stone. You discover the wreck of a plane crash. You could take time to search it. I'll search thoroughly. You find an item. It took a lot of time. Uh, a climbing rope reduces the cost of energy for a limited time duration three hours okay so we've got another climbing rope and we can level up um can search for it. it can reduce energy costs when moving but increase time costs reduce energy costs in the death zone okay yeah we'll we'll take the death zone one because it sounds scary let's move to this cave you enter a cave. After just a few steps, you feel a nice wind on your face. It seems to be coming from the other end of the cave. Follow the cave. Countless stalactites hang from the ceiling, blocking your path. As you def definitely search through the for gaps between the enormous rock formation ducking beneath them, you suddenly hear a grinding noise. At the last second, you narrowly dodge the pointed projectile that comes crashing down from above. It was a hair breath and piercing your torso. Then you see something that makes your blood run cold. A short distance ahead of you is a corpse riddled with stalactites. The poor soul. Uh, if only he'd have had your luck. Feeling more than a little queasy, you rummage through the fur pouch he was carrying, find a valuable equipment item, and hastily tuck it into your pack. You then turn to leave this place. It's just too dangerous. An oxygen mask. Um, 
Okay, nice. Uh, I leave the cave. It is almost night time, is it? Okay, let's go back this way. We maybe should have stayed in the cave, but we've got the tent. So maybe we'll try and get up here and then we'll try and sleep. We're losing energy. We're definitely losing temperature. We've got a cup of tea that we've had in a Fermos fast for about three days, uh, but apparently it's still going to keep us warm. So I feel like we're woefully underprepared for this journey. We came with one can of food and one cup of tea. You know, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced that we're really cut out to be uh, these intrepid explorers that we're trying to be. Okay, let's get to this chest. We want to have a look and see if there's anything good in here. And then we'll have a little rest. Okay, what happens now? Hello? Oh, it's not there. It's there. Here we go. Snow under your feet is churned up as if recently moved. You could could see someone has been digging here. I dig deeper. It's going to take two hours. You kneel down and you use your hands to dig through the snow. You can feel the cold creeping in your up your arms. Why don't we use our gloves? Um, you are just about to give up when your hands hit the hard surface. Crumbling wooden crate contains provisions. You take what's still good, but who buried it here and why? Oh, nice. We found a cup of tea and some food. That is good news. Right, okay, we want to sleep, right? Let's, are we going to be able to go this way? We are. So let's climb here for a second. And then we'll have a sleep. Oh God, that looks scary. Okay, let's, uh, let's have a little sleep here. We're going to use the tent. We're going to sleep for a long while. Let's sleep. Our, our energy is going to go up. Our body temp's going to go up a little bit. We'll have a cup of tea when we wake up and we'll be ready to go. Okay, let's have a cup of tea. Nice. Okay, now where do, where are we going from here? Do we go this way? I mean, this looks ridiculous, doesn't it? I think we have to just start heading over here. Here we go. We're going for it. This is fraught with danger, if you ask me. And even then, where do we go from there? Maybe we can cut through that way. We're using a lot of energy and all of our body heat to get over there. There is a cave, and my thinking is we can get there and then we can go in that cave, maybe. And we've got a storm coming in tomorrow, that is not ideal. I think our temperature is going to... We're not, oh, our temperature is still pretty full. I thought this was, was losing, but we're fine. Oxygen is pretty good as well. Used in the death zone high up the mountain. Well, we've got our little oxygen mask. We should be fine. We're using a lot of energy, mind you. We do have extra food, though, right? So we want to come back to this one, I think. Perhaps we can get from here to here and then back down, maybe. I don't know if that's a thing, though. Ideally, we'd want to do that. We wouldn't want to use this until it's night time. Does look like we can come this way, though. Uh, you find a backpack concealed under a thin layer of snow. Blueprint, sorry, boot prints, boot prints lead away from the spot in a zigzag pattern uh, and appears and disappear behind a rock. Let's search the backpack. You pull an empty brandy bottle out of the backpack, then another and another. There's nothing in it. Disappointed, you fling the backpack away and continue your journey. Okay, can we get up here? Yes, we can, but we don't want to go that way. Can we come over here? We can. Okay, that's what we're going to do. I know it seems a bit silly. Well, let's just get rid of this for a second. What if we went... No, so we have to go around this way. But I think it's the right thing to do, stupidly. Because if we can go this way and then get back down here, then we're in a better place. It's risky, but we can sleep at night over there. Um, there's something up here as well. You're walking through powdered snow and then suddenly your feet slip from under you. A layer of smooth ice has formed beneath the snow, making you walking impossible. Oh man cold 
Okay, let's keep going. Do we want to try and climb up here? Hold on, let's stop here. Do we want to try and climb up here? And then back down here and back down here? Maybe, let's do it. It's going to be tough, let's do it. This is what we this is what we came here for, right? We came here to climb these mountains and and really seek out our our goals here, right? Look at us go working our way up this mountain. We really want whatever's here and it needs to be good. Stumbled across the corpse of a deer with no signs of decay. The animal died only recently. The remains of chewed, sorry, remains of chewed herbs clinging to its snout. It's the last meal, probably still in the undigested. You could cut it over the stomach and get the herbs. I will give it a try. You did it. You have indeed found some undigested herbs in the deer's stomach. Uh, what do we do with this stuff? Minus one health, but plus 20 sanity. Okay, nice. And we can level up. Significantly decrease sanity lost and reduce energy costs when moving and climbing. Let's do that. Okay. And we want to head back down here. But before we do that, we want to eat one of these, right? Perfect. Then we want to head back over here. We could have carried on going up, which might not be in the worst, but I think we need to sleep in that cave tonight in all honesty, because we don't have a lot of, we only have one use of our tent left. Oh my God, I'm in the mountain. We only have one use of our tent left uh, and we're going to need it. And then I think we have to head this way, which looks like it is very much fraught with danger. You come across the ruined foundation and a former dwelling. Herbs are growing in recess. You just as you're about to gather them, treating stone catches your eye. It looks like it can be moved. Some kind of switch, perhaps. What? Flip the switch. I haven't got enough energy. I gather the herbs. Quickly gather the herbs and leave. Okay. Well, we got more herbs than we know what to do with. Uh, and we want to head down here, right? Perfect. How far have we got to go, I wonder? It's, it's still quite a way if we were to look up the mountain. Still seems like a fair old distance. We're going to try and make our way across there. I think. I can't see another cave up there, so it's going to be a tricky one, I think. But we are over here. We're almost at night time. You enter a cave. Several passages lead deep into the mountain. You listen, you can hear a metallic clanging coming from one of the passages. As if someone's banging a hammer against a heat pipe. I follow the noise? I wonder if we can sleep after this. You walk a few steps down the pathway. The clanging gets louder, but it's so dark it's hard to say how far away the noises come from. I keep going. Oh, God. You keep one hand on the wall, make your way forward. Clanging sounds muffled as regular as if we're coming for a broken machine of some sort. You walk further and further into the cave system. Suddenly, the noise stops. You wait a minute, a moment, but nothing. Just endless darkness and bitter cold. What were you thinking? Frustrated, you turn around, stumble back to the passageway. After a while, you stop still. Have you lost your way? The cold seeps into your bones. You keep going. Suddenly, your knee hits something hard. Feeling around with your hand, you make out a metal chest and open it. You quickly add the contents to your pack. And limping, you continue your search for the cave entrance. Feels like an eternity, but you finally spy some light. You made it out and fall to the ground. We've got a dodgy knee. And we've got an oxygen bottle. Not really what we needed, but fair enough. Uh, lie down and sleep, please. We're going to sleep for a long while. Uh, off we go. And we're going to wake up still at night, but hopefully we can start making tracks. It is also going to be stormy, which is a little bit of a worry. Um, can we get over here do we think I think we're going to have to go that way right okay we're making tracks here we go we're going to use a lot of energy we're going to use some more sanity our health is not great whose idea was this we could have had a nice holiday in like Greece or somewhere but instead we're doing this malarkey What's wrong with this? How far have we come from, I wonder? Can we turn around and look down the mountain? I wonder where we started. Did we start over there? If so, we've made some good progress, right? Done a pretty damn good job. Should be proud of ourselves. 
I don't know if we are proud of ourselves. I mean, we are going pretty slowly. I know I can speed this up, but I quite like how how weirdly chill this is for a game that could be us about to die at any moment. Okay, this is not good, is it? Body temperature is dropping. The energy is being sapped. being sapped i tell you uh, we are making our way up here i don't know where we go after that we've got a, a conversation and then we've got this which i think will help with sanity i'm not 100 percent sure um and i guess then we're using a tent when we get there and then we're fresh out of tents unless we find one that would probably be the holy grail i guess there's another cave over here but it's very early to be going in a cave okay Nearby in the abandoned camp, there is a tent torn. Take some time to search it. Let's have a proper search. Unfortunately, you find nothing useful, you scumbags. Okay, let's get up here next. It's going to use all of our energy. Oh, we can't cut across there, you absolute scumbags. I'll go round. There's a few of those. It's very difficult to see whether you can make it across. Maybe we will be going to this cave tonight. If we, we're going, you have to use our food. Uh, a tent hastily erected uh, against the side of the rock wall catches your attention. As you get closer, you discover sleeping mountaineer. His clothes are torn in places. You can tell by his face that he's in bad shape. You can't say how long he was left has left to live, or whether he will make it. Look through his provisions. Try to help him treat his injuries. Can we eat food? We can. Can we now try to help him? You roll a stranger into the recovery position, speak to him in a soothing voice. He opens his eyes and looks at you bewildered. His strength appears to be coming back, so you help him to sit up. He's very grateful and shares his provisions with you, assuring you that it will be all right from now. What have we got? Climbing gloves. That does not help me. Well, I mean, it does, right? But not as much as it could. Now what do I have? not got enough food to get here. Or maybe I have. Sorry, enough energy to get here. Either way, we've got to go for this cave, right? I wanted to go here, but we've got to go for this cave. We need a sleep. You're in a cave cautiously. A short way ahead, the ground disappears. There's a wide, deep fault in the earth in front of you, stretching from one wall to the other. Explore the fault, leave the cave, lie down and sleep. I think we have to sleep for a long time. We need the energy. I appreciate it's going to bring us back, uh, but the weather's going to be good tomorrow. So that will be nice. Uh, I think we have to start making our way up here. We're going to need oxygen up here. We do have oxygen, right? That's the good point. But are we going to have enough? There's a chest and a cave over there. Part of a head uh, of you tapers into a narrow, narrow passage with columns of brittle ice. One of the ice towers has collapsed and is blocking your way. You check the mound of ice, it would consume a lot of your strength to make your way through it, but it should be possible. Let's take a detour. Okay. You turn around, you take a detour, then hit by another collapsing tower of ice as you clear its passage. Oh, God. Okay. Up we go. It's a big old climb. There's another cave up there. That's kind of where we're heading. This is no, this is a nicer day. There's another cave over there and more things. So I feel like that's probably the better option. The air is getting thin as you breathe. Your, your breath is heavy. Have you have entered the death zone? You pause for a moment to prepare for the long, difficult path towards the summit. I will ascend as quickly as possible. Effects. Uh, summit fever. For minus 35 energy cost. I will take it slow. Decreased oxygen use. Before I ascend, I will win, mend my wounds. Um, let's go with this. Why not? We're going to go quick. Got to go fast and all that stuff. That's a long old walk, but we're going for it. We're trying to get over here. Okay. You know what? Let's just, let's just go for this for now. It's going to take a little bit of time. Hopefully we're not going to die on the way. I wonder what we've got in our bag. Still quite a way, but we've made really good progress. I 
I think this is a really nice looking game as well. I think it's been a little bit forgiving to us as well at this early early stage and we've got we've got a, uh, a temporary thing right the uh, first ascent so our sanity isn't as bad um, how is our oxygen where is our oxygen do we oxygen is pretty good um, we're still climbing we want to climb I guess up here first I guess we go to that one then we come to this one another chest around the corner there i wonder if we can see anything else over there Is there another cave i don't think so yeah i can't see another cave there's a big ascent when we get up here though and we've not got a lot of of provisions to see us through let's hope we find something good here the stranger is sitting motionless on the rocks his naked torso is adorned with a number of tattoos strange patterns and symbols the uh, likely, sorry, like the most, like these mostly worn by spiritual leaders of the local indigenous people. It's bitterly cold and you wonder whether this stranger is frozen to death. Talk to the stranger. As you approach the stranger, he hurls a rock at you, grazes your shoulder and you suspect he probably doesn't want to talk. So you continue your journey. No shit, he doesn't want to talk. Reduce time when moving, control breathing, warm thoughts. Whenever you use a consumable, you gain, let's use this one. Okay, thank you. And then we want to come back down here, I think. Then here, then here. Because we want to come to the we want to come to that last if we're gonna to go to it at all. I think we have to though, because I mean we do have a tent. So maybe we don't. Maybe we can still make tracks over this way. Attempt to jump over a pile of debris, you slip and catch your foot and crack between the rocks, your ankle is in agony, I clear the way the rubble, oh god, uh, you burrowly clear the rubble rock by rock, you don't want to take any risks, just in case your ankle is sprained, it takes a while but eventually the crack is wide enough to gingerly pull your foot out, it's just a graze, okay, that's good news, let's keep going. going to be stormy tomorrow you catch a scent of a wind burning wood you follow your nose and behind some rocky peaks you discover a patchy dingy looking tent next to the tent is a glowing embers of a campfire met a thin plume of smoke you look around not a soul for miles uh, i call out in case there's anyone nearby seven energy i'm going to call out for an hour and 22 minutes you having a laugh uh, you find a fur pouch and rummage through the contents it turns out to contain some provisions who could they belong to and will they only be willing to share them with you? Wait a while and no one returns to the tent. Decide to take that as a sign you relocate some of the pouch's contents to your pack. Another cup of tea, nice. Okay. And it's not going to help with the energy situation, but I think we have to go back to this. I know it's still early, but I think we have to come back here just simply for the energy. Um, we could have a cup of tea, although I don't think that's absolutely necessary. We could have a herb or two. That doesn't seem like the worst shout. You enter the cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. Lie down and sleep. We want to sleep for a long while. It's going to take some energy. Sorry, some oxygen. But we are going to get energy back. Let's do it. I know it's going to be night time when we come out, which isn't great. But, you know, I think it's I think it's a good start for us. And then we most likely want to come over here and have one of these. I know it hurts our energy, but we want to come over here next, right? Off we go. It's night time. We've got a lot of climbing to do, which I'm a little bit worried about. Now, climbing up here looks like it's fraught with danger. Well, I mean, it's a mountain, so it's all kind of fraught with danger, right? But it seems particularly scary. I don't know where we go from here. All the rest of the the caves and stuff look like they're over that way. I wonder if you can go around the back of this. I wonder around the back of the mountain if there's another. You know, if it's still tile based and so on and so forth. Is there anything down here? It doesn't look like it. Okay, up we go. 
That looks like a horrendous climb. I'm not looking forward to that. Okay. Let's hopefully, hopefully we get something good here. Food would be great for us. We need the energy. Uh, nearby in the abandoned camp, there are a couple of empty oxygen bowls. You, you could take the time to search. Uh, I think we have to, right? Find two bottled oxygen tanks. Don't really need them, as it turns out. But fair enough. We'll take them. We'll use one now just to refill our energy. Thank you. And then, where are we going? We could go over that way. We could just try and climb up here. It's going to use pretty much all of our energy. Is there a better solution here? This weirdly is going to use less energy. I think. That uses a lot. That uses less. I'm going this way. Brace yourselves, everybody. This could be an absolute stupid idea, but we're doing this. I have to say, this is a fun little game. Um, look at this. Oh man, having to shield our face as we go. I wonder if climbing mountains... I mean, there's a lot of going down uh, as well as up on these mountains, right? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I'm not going to be able to get from there to there, right? So we don't want to go there. We want to go there and then there, I think. Okay, good. It looks like there is more this side of the mountain as well, actually. That's pretty cool. All I can see is a rock. Okay. There's a cave just over here. That's great news. Uh, nearly, uh, sorry, nearby an abandoned camp, there's a torn tent. You can make some time to search it. Uh, I take a quick look. You find a, a bio, bivo, bivoyok tent? What the heck? Okay, well, we needed that. So let's take you, put you over here and take you, right? Perfect. Uh, you are leaving some items behind. That's fine. We're leaving the crap tent behind. We're going to head over here and go in this, and go in here. And then tomorrow, we're going to try and climb this big old mountain. Uh, let's hope nothing happens on our little journey over here. I mean, we could probably just try and climb up here and then um, use the tent. Yeah, maybe we don't need to, hold on. Maybe we don't need to go here. Maybe we just go up. But then we'd only get that far. But you know what? Let's do it. We'll sleep in the tent tonight. Another cave over there if we needed it. But okay, we're here. We're going to use our tent. Do we need anything else? Body temperature okay. Oxygen's okay. Sanity isn't great. But let's use our tent. Long sleep. It'll be sunny again tomorrow, which is great news. Okay, good. All right, there is a lot of climbing going on today. Up we go. We are almost there, though. I don't know if we're going to have enough energy to get out of this one. We might need to sleep again and then try and climb again. We get up here. Mm, it's very close. We're going to try it. And then I guess we just rest up here. Up we go. Look how close we're going to be. Oh my god. Please don't die. Please don't die. 
You enter an expansive cave. Countless stalactites hang from the ceiling, some of which are longer than your arm. Water droplets trickle gently from the tips of these stalactites onto the rocks and as the pools below. Uh, the soothing, th tinkling sound uh, they make leaves you feeling calm and relaxed. The rock formations must be many thousands of years old, dating back to before the first traces of people on this island. It makes you happy to think that anything could endure for so long. You too are here to achieve something that will outlast you, something people will talk about for years to come. Our sanity's gone up. We need a sleep. We're going to sleep for long. We need the energy. I don't think this is going to be enough energy to get us up that mountain. That's the concern. To you know, the last bit of the climb, I think we're going to need. Oh no, we are okay. Look, here we go. Oh my god, we're going to do it. Oh my god, we're only going to do it unless something terrible happens. Oh, that mountain looks taller than this one. What? Why are we coming up here? That mountain looks taller. Oh god, I can't see us anymore. Here we go. We did it. Your heart feels light and full of joy as you stand on the summit the hardship of the climb already forgotten you savor the moment it's yours and yours alone what an adventure what a view off in the distance you can see more mountains higher even than the one you're standing on and what's that something stands atop one of them a long and thin from this distance it looks like an antenna but that can't be right or can it you want to take a closer look you aren't done exploring yet but first you have to get out of the death zone and find a safe place to take a breath. We did it. We did it, everybody. Oh, my Lord. Oh, no, we've got to go down. I don't want to go down. Ignores dangerous terrain active for 16 hours. Uh, conserve strength active until the end of this mission. Uh, mindfulness. I guess we take this one, right? Uh, I don't think we're going to I don't think we're going to head down the mountain right now obviously um but uh, there you go this is insurmountable I really enjoyed this is it's, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare to climb back down here I have to say um you know surely we could stop off somewhere for some provisions right um but looks like we've got to head back down the mountain and uh and then we'll be climbing another one. I hope you enjoyed this. This is available. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. It will be a Humble Bundle um, link, uh, which would be my partner's bundle. But if you're interested in the game, it's also available on Steam. Uh, I really enjoyed this. It's available for, at the moment for about £10.99. Uh, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, pretty chilled out game. Pretty uh, pretty laid back at the same time. Obviously, a, a lot to balance with the, the oxygen, energy, temperature, etc. Um if you enjoyed this, please hit the like button. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and you're enjoying the videos. And I will hopefully see you all again soon. Thank you.